Hello, welcome. In this video, we have a vehicle comparison, and I've chosen the 2021 Honda CRV hybrid versus the 2021 Honda CRV non hybrid. Now, the idea is that with a hybrid vehicle, you're going to pay more upfront. This is the MSRP, the manufacturer's suggested retail price, and for hybrids, over $30,500. For the non hybrid, we are paying less. It's under $30,000, it's $29,360. So it might seem like this is the cheaper choice, it's the better deal. And it is upfront. You pay more money upfront for the hybrid, but the combined miles per gallon. So how far can you drive on a gallon of gas? The non-hybrid does not drive as far. So that means since the hybrid's driving, in this case, 11 miles per gallon further, that's going to start to save you money. All right, the difference of 11 gallons, 11 miles per gallon. So the, the further you can drive on a gallon of gas, the cheaper this car will become the longer you drive it. And that's where this comes into play. The fuel cost savings of the hybrid and the payback period. Now, payback period is saying how long will it take, in this case, almost three and a half years, but how long will it take where the miles per gallon, the savings there, that extra distance you can go per gallon, is worth more than the extra you paid for the hybrid itself. So in this case, you paid $1,200 more for the hybrid. So how how long will it take before that $1,200 more you paid is outweighed by the savings in miles per gallon? And to figure out the three-point years, they're giving you these numbers here. It's three forty-nine dollars per year, $29.08 per month, and $6.71 per week. That's the savings for the hybrids. Every week that goes by, it's $6.71 cheaper to have the hybrid. Every month that goes by, you're saving $29 in gas. And every year that goes by, you're saving $350 about in gas. So in about 3.4 years, 3.4 times 349, right? that's going to get you close to $1,200. And we can check it right now. Let's do the math. So we did 349 times 3.4, not 304. 3.4, it's uh, 1,186, so right, let's say 3.5 years, they're rounding times 349 per, per year. You can see that exceeds 1,200. So between 0.4 and 0.5 of a year, um, you are crossing into the time when the hybrid will start to save you money. All right, well, let's go back. What's interesting here is that I was wondering where are these numbers coming from, and I want to make sure you understand that. There's some basic assumptions here. So the assumptions that we're making kind of unlock the math behind this process. We're assuming that you drive 15,000 miles in a year, in a year, and we're going to assume that the cost of gas is uh, gas is two dollars and eighty five cents per gallon now we will look at we will look at what happens as these numbers change how it impacts this model but we can say that the longer you drive the more you drive the better it will be to have the hybrid because you have to buy more gas and in that case the hybrid will tend to become the better deal deal faster than three point years three point four years if the cost of gas goes up, it's also true that the hybrid will become cheaper faster because the hybrid's using less gas. So that's the basic gist of how these variables impact this model. So with this information, what's some of the intuition to figure out, let's start with the, the fuel cost savings. Well, I'll give you a faster algorithm in another video, but I want to give you the intuition here. What I would say is that you're taking the 15,000 miles. That's how many miles you're driving per year. And I want to know, well, how much gas do I need to drive that far? So we'll look at the hybrid and the non-hybrid side by side. So in both cases, you're driving 15,000 miles. But for the hybrid, to figure out how much gas I'm using, I'm dividing it by 38. That's miles per gallon, whereas at the non-hybrid, we are going 29 miles per gallon. And this is saying we're dividing 15,000 by 38. This one is 15,000 divided by 29. And this is getting a little crowded here, so I'm going to go to a blank slide, and I'll just rewrite that real quick. 
So for the hybrid, we'll do it this way. It'll be a little bit neater. You're going to take 15,000, and I'll just put M for miles, and you're dividing it by 38 miles per gallon. Whereas with the non-hybrid, I guess we can, we can stick this all in one equation, and you, and you can do it piece by piece if you want. But you're doing 15,000 miles, and you're dividing it by 29 miles per gallon. Now what this is going to tell you is how many gallons of gas you'll need because miles divided by miles also cancel out and you're taking the reciprocal of this fraction means you flip it. So it's going to tell you the number of gallons the miles cancel out and this is the number of gallons of gas you need to drive that far. And then I'm thinking well every gallon of gas you have, every gallon of gas you have cost the same in this case it's 285 for a hybrid so it's two dollars and 85 cents, 2.85 dollars per gallon. And in this case, it's also two dollars and 85 cents, or two dollars and 85 cents, 2.5, 2.85 dollars per gallon. And then the gallons will cancel and all you're left with are dollars. And this will tell you the dollar amount for uh, driving for an entire year. 15,000 divided by 20 miles per gallon, times 2.85 dollars per gallon. This is going to give us an answer in dollars. And so will this up here. So now we're just going to do the math. So 15,000 divided by 38 times 2.85. All right, we can do that. 15,000 divided by 38 and then times 2.85. So it gives you $1,125. That's how much you're going to spend in gas over a year. Whereas with the non-hybrid, it's going to be 15,000 divided by 29 times 2.85. And this is going to give you a bigger number because you're dividing by 29, which is a smaller amount. And I, oh boy, that should be 15,000. Fix that. Go over. Now on the graphing calculator, I wish I did that on purpose, but I. But here's a teaching moment. Second delete gives you the ability to enter in a digit without deleting everything. So one thousand four hundred seventy-four dollars about. So one thousand four hundred seventy-four, and then there was to the nearest cent, point one four. Point one four dollars. So you can see that the non-hybrid here is more than the hybrid, right? Per year you're spending. Uh, several hundred dollars. Now if you subtract these two, we should get 349, which if we go back here, got to erase some of my mess, this is looking gross, which is the 349 we're getting right here. So let's make sure we're getting that. So this number, I'm just going to press minus, and I'm going to go up, 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 and select this number here, the cost per year for hybrid, enter, and there's the 349. So this is per year. Now if you want to know what it is, let's say, per month, you just divide that number by 12. So divide the year by 12. There it is per, per month. And then if you want it per, what do they do, per day next? Oh, per week, excuse me. Um, what I would do is I would take the 349 and divide it by, um, by a week, excuse me, by 52 for weeks. There are 52 weeks in a year. And there it is, $6.71 per week. And if you did it per day, you know, we can do it per day, we can go past what they have. I would suggest dividing by 365 or 365.25. And you can see it's about every single day. It's kind of a nice way to think about it. It's almost a dollar cheaper to have the hybrid every day. You're saving you about a dollar of gas per day. And that's a nice way of looking at it. So if we go back to this, um, we can tell that it's going to be 3.4 years. We can figure that out because the savings is about $1,200. So we want to know when do we when do we start to exceed that difference. Now the way I would have done that, uh, way I would do that, excuse me, is to subtract the MSRPs, the manufacturer suggested re retail price. So it's the hybrid minus the non-hybrid, and 306. That's a that's a 36. I'll fix that. 29,360. That's our difference. So let's do that. 3560 minus, I already forgot it. 
29,360. I'm gonna double check, it is 1,200, which is exactly what they got. Okay, so we got 1,200. So the question is, how long will it take to, to get a number that's above 1,200? Because then you'll be saving more than you spent on the hybrid. So we know it's, it's $349 per year. So the question is, um, how many years will it take for this to be 1,200? So 3,449 times how many years X is greater than 1,200? And that means X is going to be greater than 1,200 divided by $349 as the savings per year. And that means X is greater than, and we'll see it in a moment, but let's just double check, 1,200 divided by 349. And there's the three points. See, it's 0.44 about. So I'll say about, it's going to be greater than 3.4, 3 which is what they get as well. So as soon as we're above 3.4 years, we know that the, the hybrid will really start to be the cheaper choice. All right, I hope that helped.